that's how we did that. So I want the path, these, I still want this to be a two foot path. And so basically for two foot path, that being the center point, we're gonna use our little Mr. Pen uh, thing and we're gonna mark off two feet on each side of the dots. Oh, excuse me, one foot on each side of the dot. Okay, so now it's like, where do you want this to connect to? Uh, so, you know, I could connect it to the far side of, you know, each circle. I could connect it, you know, these two lines to the center. So for right now, I'm gonna just draw it. I'm gonna connect these lines to the edge of the circle out here. And I'm gonna stop like, you know, at the flower bed because obviously. <laughs> or I guess I could connect um, like I said, I don't know how big this bed is going to be, but uh, for right now, I'll just, I'll just leave it. And like I said, and I'll tweak, and you know, they'll, I'll obviously be tweaking it as this entire process goes by. I just want to get a general idea of what I want on paper. So as you can all well see, this is not exactly a square, it's more of a rhombus. But it's okay, it's still geograph a ge geometrical in shape, and that's really what I want. A loss, and of course I just drew the, this one aside completely wrong. Because it's supposed to be, these endpoints, it's supposed to be the edge of the pathway, not the center. Well, I suppose it probably may not have mattered that much. Okay. And so, uh, so of course I wanna keep the, the pathway two feet throughout. So I'm just gonna put, you know, two feet from here you know, and match up these two lines right here. Doesn't quite seem to fit, but I'm sure part of it is just because my angle was off. Because this is definitely, yeah, this is definitely two feet. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I know this precisely what's going on. It'll all make sense once I actually finish it. Okay. So this will mark two feet here. We'll mark two feet. Here, which actually brings you right there. And then using this line, we'll mark two feet here. But actually put you on the line. Okay. And so now that we've done that, we're just going to kind of match up. Now see, there's going to be some overlap, you know, some overlap between these two points. And so kind of when we get down here, Okay. Um, and so, let's see, if we bring this one two feet out, ooh, actually two feet out is more like right here. Okay, so you know, let's 
just redraw it a little bit so that everything So this is kind of the way I draft. And you know you're gonna have to you ha gonna have to play with it, and you may have to constantly be redrawing it, but eventually you're going to get something that visually looks good. Okay, so there we go. That looks much better now that I've done that. Okay, so now I've got that. So now that I've gotten that squared away, let me use my brown pencil and kind of draw the final shape. And you know, now that I'm looking at this, I don't know that I'm liking this path between the things I don't know I'm thinking I might actually just want I think I'm just I think I might actually just want just an open just an open garden where maybe just leave the path cut the path off right here so let me let's try that and see how it looks That, I, actually that doesn't look too bad I did draft it the other way and I'll show you that that design in a moment uh, but you know it's no fun There we go. So, you know, I actually really like how that looks. I really, I really, really do. And quite frankly, if I do it this way, I don't even know how I'll must need to put a additional flower bed, I, you know, around that or not going, I may actually just take it out on the side and just do something on the, just keep it on the back side of the flower. So that way we can have, a, you know, a fairly, nice little walking path right here quite frankly by taking that out let's see how many pieces that gives me uh between the edge of the fountain and that it's almost two feet so you can just kind of like walk around it um you can get around it i think fairly fairly easily i think so but i'll have you know i may tweak it a little bit so I like this design. It's it's very geometric. It's just very different, and it gives me a lot of growing space. Uh, because if I wanted to calculate the area, then I obviously I could do the whole you know triangle thing. Okay, so this section in here is fifty nine point five square feet. Over here, it's the same. So it's fifty nine point. Uh, Five, and then if we calculate this rectangle, so the rectangle is about 17, um, 17 by four. Uh, so the area of a square is 17 by four, which is, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm doing this on my watch, by four, so. 68. So if we add those things together, so 68 plus 59.5 plus 59.5 equals, we have, uh, it's a total of 187 square feet of growing space. So that's nice. So that'll be really nice. So I think it might be cute. Well, we'll talk about actually what I'm going to put in here because I just had a cute idea for maybe a uh, maybe uh, a rose garden or something like that. I think that might actually look cute. Let me just check something out here. 
Okay. Okay, so now, now you know what? I could stop here. I could just say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna have one walking path around with flower beds on each side. And then when you get to this, you know, right here, you know, you go on the inside and then you know, and leave all of this as growing space. I could totally, I could totally do that. Uh, the only thing is that there is no seating room in this space, as you can see. So I'm thinking it might be kind of cute to put, just to put, just to put some sort of seating area in here. And so I just want to keep it small because like I said, I don't want to eat up my growing space. So I think what I'm going to do is, well, first off, since it's a potato garden, I do need to do some outlining in terms of uh, hedges. Now, where this, on this side, you can see over here, there's box with, there's going to be a box with hedge right here. Okay, so I don't want to put another hedge there because then it's going to give me very little growing space. So I'm thinking about doing a hedge in here. And I have considered my options. Uh, there is one, one type of bush that's fairly, only gets maybe like, a foot foot and a half wide actually i have a shrub that's out in my yard i'm going to take a, a, a cutting of it and take it to my local garden center to see if they can't help me find it because it's actually short and narrow and so it's maybe like a foot and a half wide um so that way i can put that hedge in this area right here you know just 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 because so if i do that i'm probably going to have I don't know if I want one seating area or maybe like maybe four in each corner because that that could kind of uh, that could kind of look cute. Um, so I'm going to draw. Four, I think I'm going to put one in each corner and we'll see how many I actually do because I could only I could say, OK, well, you know, I'm just going to do it two and keep it diagonal that sort of thing. So I just want a nice little. Um, I just want a little half moon, you know, on each side. So I think I'm gonna make it like seven, like seven feet. And so seven feet on here is yeah. so that way it's just gonna be enough room, enough space for a bench. And so that might have marked my seven feet. On this Mr. Pen thing, I ha there is a bench. Now, I don't know that I want a five-foot bench. I mean, I definitely could fit a five-foot bench in there, but I was thinking about doing it diagonal. I don't know. That, that just may be, that just may be too big. Um, maybe I can do, like, a rectangular seating area. That, that actually... You know that actually could that actually could work. Do like an L-shaped seating area, and I don't want it to take up too much space because, quite frankly, I would prefer I want more growing space rather than I don't want to take up any I don't want this to take up any flower. Oh, you know what? And I forgot there's going to be a hedge here, so let me not start that over too. So guess what? Let me just draft that on here, just so I know where my hedge is going to be. So anyway, this this may be now now that I'm doing that, this may just be it's going to be a really small bench that's in here. So I'll just draw draw something. even with a lawn chair that's going to be
Okay. Here, so let me do that for all of them because So there we go. So now I've drafted all of the hedges. Uh, the, the, the shrub I'm thinking about is called Pencil Holly and it gets, it can get kind of tall, but I'm thinking that I might just have to keep it like, you know, cut the leader, like the leader thing down to a certain height and hopefully it won't get that big or I could let it get big and just maybe create like a create like topiary just to so even though it's really tall it is not necessarily blocking everything and I would just basically continue the hedge but before I do that though let me draft out nine because I'm going to need a, a little pathway because that's obviously you can't just like walk a line Eight feet, so eight feet, nine. Okay, there we go. Hmm. We have to adjust this a little bit because now it's this is interfering. With. I may have to adjust this so it doesn't, um, well actually I guess it really, you know, it really doesn't matter. See, you know, I'm thinking there's going to be a line here. There really isn't. So actually that looks much better. Okay. So yeah, no, no, it'll, this, this will actually work quite fine. So uh, then basically what I would do was just take the green and add the shrub I'm talking about all the way. So that's the general, that's going to be the general shape. And so uh, uh, in here, so basically the planting areas, like don't forget this section out here, this is going to be a planting area all the way around. Um, and this is a planting area in this area and around here, and this is a planting area. And of course with the bench, I'm probably going to have maybe little stepping stones and I'll plant some slow growing things there. So it's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of space. So the the, the dimensions of this are thirty six by sixty, and so that works out to so it works out to um, like two thousand one hundred sixty. This the garden itself is twenty one hundred sixty feet, and so obviously I don't have that in terms of growing space, but it's a lot of growing space. So I think this is going to be nice. I think with the uh, hedges, you know, it's going to just create a nice, um, I think just, I think it's just going to be, I think it's just going to be really, really cute. So let me finish adding all of the shrubs and then I'll come back afterwards so you can see the final, my final working design.
Okay guys, so that that is the the working that is the gonna be the working model. I I like I like this design better than the last one. Let me show you what I did with the last one. Okay, so this is the prior design that I did. And as you can see, I have the walking path. So it does eliminate some of that space, which, like I said, I'm not crazy about. I think I like what I've drafted a lot better. Um, I think I like like being able... I mean, yeah, you can see the see it, but I think it'll be look, the, the fountains will look a lot nicer if you can see, you know... If you can see, or maybe even not see, uh, maybe one thing I can do is kind of like um, put like a trellis system, a trellis down this area, and maybe have low growing, like more shade type plants under it. So when you're standing at one, you can kind of see the, uh, like like a tunnel effect through there. So it's just a lot of things, you know, it's a lot to play with. So. On this particular drawing, one thing I did is I notated where I want the spigots to go uh, because obviously I need to water this and I want to make sure I have enough. So where I ended up putting them was in the corner. So I had one right here. I think I had one right here and then one right here and then I think I had one in here, uh, one in here, and then actually I had one on this side, another one over here, and then one down here. Okay, um, so I think at the end of the day it is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can I tell him eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I think I told, I think I may have told the guy seven, but I'll just say, hey, listen, I'm going to add another one. Okay, so uh, the reason I did that it this way is because the way I was thinking about it is that, okay, for first off, these here can water. Um, I Obviously, I'll have to run some of the drip tubing maybe under the whatever pathway I choose, but these will be enough to do in here. Um, with this one, uh, with this one that's right here, which hopefully you can see, I wanted to use this one to water the flower bed and actually part of, and the, and the front head. So this one is gonna do this 40 foot long area and then this 40 foot long area, which I think is gonna work because especially once I get um, to uh, this side, um, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. It'll, it'll change. I just want to make sure I have enough, but definitely this one is going to take care of this. Uh, this one, oh, you know what? I know what it was going to do. So this one is going to pretty much take care of this and maybe some in here if I need it. I think this one is going to take care of this bed up to here as well as this part of the hedge. And now I remember what it was. This, this one right here is going to take care of this part of the hedge, but there's a three foot walking space and then there is a flower bed with the house. And so I'm going to plan to do here and as well as probably when I get to this point, just run a black tubing um, this way because there's a, like I said, there's a thing, there is a walking path and then come back this way to do this section of the of the bed near the house um oops sorry i didn't mean to kick that this one right here my plan is to really use this one to water the hedge um all the way down to the end of the border because that's going to be that's going to be a lot that's going to take care of that one and this right here is um I'm thinking is probably going to take care of this section right here. And like, and the thing is with these is that when I expand the garden, this pro the, these two on this end are probably going to take care of um, parts of this garden and part in the and part in the new section of of the garden. And so that's that's how that's how I'm looking. That's really how I'm looking at that. So. 
you know, there's going to be some overlap, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough because, I mean, quite frankly, if I can get good coverage, you know, I, and a lot of this also depends upon what I actually plant there, how I'm going to organize them. But I feel like if I have seven or eight spigots, that'll give me, I'll have enough to make sure that everything is getting properly watered. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how I have drawn the Pater Garden. Um, that's, that's the way it's going to work. Um, that's, I think this is definitely going to be my final design because like I said, I do like it a lot more than what I've drawn here. So I think that's why I'm going to leave it. And then this section over here, that is going to be, it'll be a Pater style garden too. But uh, for example, there's two big trees that are not notated on there. So I'm going to have to put them on the drawing. But this is probably going to be a little bit more shade. Some parts of it are getting more shade. Some parts of it get sun. But that'll be a design for another area. Because I, I, obviously I could put another fountain and some other stuff. Actually, I would really like to have a water feature. Um, especially because there's some trees with shade. I don't know. It would be really cool if I could do almost like a kind of like a rain garden Thing, like with water from my gutters and that sort of to kind of make it like a string through here but like I said that's a project for a different year but this is what I'm planning to work on next summer and so um, I think it's going to be enough to keep me busy so if you guys have any questions post them in the comments um, there will be more design videos there will definitely be more design videos to come um, if there's um I don't know if you guys have a garden plan you know you want to post a picture that's that's fine I, i'd like to see what everybody else is doing um if you for example are i don't know if you have a question about the equipment that i use i'm going to try to put a link but if you say hey i have this what would you do in this situation send it to me i mean i like sketching out things it's, it's just it's kind of fun <laughs> so uh, that's what i got so i'll see you guys in the next video and uh, thank you for watching